Hello everyone, this is Gwydion, and this video is intended to help those of you that are new to Fantasy Grounds and want to GM a game, but are having problems with how to port forward, how to set up your connection to where players can connect to your instance in Fantasy Grounds. It can be confusing, sometimes you can't access your router, so this video is intended to help you avoid the dreaded error, screen, could not connect, failed test for the connection. And I've been researching a number of different ways to get around the port forwarding VPN solutions. I found some good ones, but this one I stumbled upon today is really cool. And they build themselves as a radically simplif a way to radically simplify your network with a virtual networking layer that works the same everywhere. The way it seems to work for me is essentially it's a local area network, but you're you're able to connect players that are outside of your network as if they're on your local area network. Uh, that's probably a horrible way to say it. But anyway, solution's called Zero Tier. You can go to www.zerotier.com. You're going to focus on this community section over here, so the free and open source. And you can connect up to 100 devices as, as I read this. I've already tested this with a few players. It's working just fine. So you're going to click, click on Try Zero Tier. So they have apps for Windows, Macintosh, Linux, etc. We're going to focus, for me at least, on Windows. So you're going to download this file, 0 till 1, and install it. It might take a little bit of time. Um, once you install it, then you can come back to the login screen. And you're going to get to, to this section here, basically create an account. Yours might look just a little bit different since I already have an account. So you're going to fill out this information sign in or literally create an account. So email address, password, you're gonna create an account, log in. Once you do that, you're gonna get into your zero tier account. So this is what it'll look like once you get into it. And we're gonna do this right now and create a server. So literally by hitting that create button, I've created a server. So I'm gonna click on that first link. This is my network ID. And this is what they've called it. It's some random name every time. I'm gonna call it Gwydion FG server and my fantasy grounds connection. Okay. Now down here, I set mine when I set this up to instead of private network where I have to worry about certificates and the like, I set it to none, which basically means all the players need is this network ID to connect. So I set that to none and then if you look at the routing over here, and most of you probably know by now that Fantasy Grounds uses IPv4. So I leave this as easy, and usually I believe it randomly selects a range that should be outside of your standard internal IP address range. So this one's going to start at 10.147.19. Okay, everything else, there's a lot of a lot of great explanation. Here are some of the rules that it's is already set up within the uh, software. You don't need to worry about any of that. All these definitions, explanations, this software is intended to run businesses and do a lot of connections internationally. It's, it's tremendous. However, now that we've set this up, all we need to do is email users instructions. So before we do that, I'm going to go to my taskbar and you can type in zero. You can see you can get to it here. I've already got it on my taskbar and it's already here on my start menu. So I'm going to click on it. So you're going to see that I don't have any network yet. So I'm going to join the network. So now I, all I need to do is go back to my key. I'm going to copy this key. We'll see. I'm going to go back, join network, control C, join. And I, I've been clicking no. I don't think it matters, yes or no. I'm going to just say no in terms of discoverable. But the important thing is now you can see in this connection, so I scroll down to the bottom right where the email instructions are. I can put in a name, and I'm just going to do this so I know that this is my system. I'm going to say FG server connection. Maybe description host. So I know this is mine. So this is all of your information. So the important one to note, and I'll show you this later, is this is the IP address on my internal network that it's assigning. Okay? 
Um, so what's cool about that is that's what players are going to use to log in. So now what the players would do, or what you would do, is you would essentially type in the email address. So, you know, Lord Gwydion or whatever, whatever it is, type in that email and click on invite. And then they're going to get an invite just like this. So it's going to say from zero tier central, they might have to look in their spam folder, but it's going to say, hi, whoever um, wants you to join zero tier network. In this case, I just said it was Gwid FG, but it'll be the name of the server here. And this is their network keys, the same one that I showed you previously. Okay, so it basically tells them, click on this link to download. It's going to take them to the same screen. They're going to download that software. And once they do that download, they will get this pop-up. Just like we did, this will just automatically pop up on their system. They just need to go into their email, copy that, paste it in, paste it right in here like we did, paste it, and join. Then they'll be connected, and you would be able to go back to this screen, and you'll see them connected here. So you're going to see them as a connection. They'll show up as an additional connection here. And then what you would do, essentially, is you would tell them to connect to FG when they go to this launch screen. So here's my internal IP address. So that's what you will send your players. And when they go to join your game, they will click join game and they're going to type in that number. So instead of this one, I won't do it here because I'm on the, the uh, same computer. So let's not do that. But I, you would just copy this and tell them just put in that IP address and hit connect start and they'll, they'll join you and you'll be connected. Now it's important to note that when you go to do, if you went to do a test here, your internal IP will not change and your external IP will not change. So don't freak out if you run the test here and it fails, it's, it's not gonna work. You're tunneling in um, and they're directly connecting through that local area network solution, best I can describe it, which is probably horrible. But so don't worry about the connection as long as it looks like you're connected and you see online here and you see them connected and sometimes you have to refresh a time or two to have the new players show up. But once you do that, you're connected, you should be able to run a game no problem. That's it. And then at the end, if you just want to set this up for one session, now that I've given these IP addresses out and you see them, you can just tear down the server. So just delete the network. Yep, I mean it. Confirm delete. Now I might have to refresh. But that network's gone. So you go into your next game, you can create a new one. Or if you'd like to have it persistent, leave it persistent and only send out that, that uh, network address to uh, your regular group. And maybe you guys connect to that and maybe you have a one shot that you constantly refresh, tear down and, and stand back up. That's it. So I hope guys, this really helps some of you that, that struggle with getting your networks connected. I'm not an IT expert, um, but I just done a lot of research and I hope it helps a few of you and uh, let me know. Give me a shout out if this was helpful or if it's not. And let me know if you have successes. If you have any problems, I'll try to help. But I really hope this helps some of you. Till next time, I hope to see you all on the Fantasy Grounds forums.